Hi guys, welcome to this Microsoft Project module. In this session, I want to talk about creating a repeating task along the same line. I've, I have quite a lot of clients ask if you can show the same process going on the same line rather than coming down as separate tasks. So that's what I want to show you today. And this is how you do it. So first of all, in fact, I'll call it process. So I'll call it process and let's say it's a two day process which repeats three times. So there's your first one, it's on there. Now I want it to repeat on Thursday and Friday there and there, the next two weeks going on, so three all together. What you have to do is double click on the white to get into the bar styles or if you don't want to do that or you find that difficult because sometimes, um, I was doing this session yesterday, people were double clicking on the white and it was just creating tasks. It's a bit of a fault that is. So if you double click and it creates a task, doesn't matter, you can go format and then format again and get bar styles from there. But whichever way you do it, you need this box. And then scroll down to the bottom of this list. And what we have to do is create two additional lines. So process, I'll call it. You get this shape where you can change the shape. So I'm going to change the color to red and the end to an arrow going that way. And then the same for the middle bit. Um, I'll put it green and then I'll have an end shape and then red. In fact, I'll do that one red as well. Red, red. Yeah, a terrible color. There it is. I don't particularly like that color, but there you go. Now you have to select what type of task you want to show this for. So this is going to be for normal tasks. And then this is the key bit. You have to change the fields. So you can't use this task start, these two, start and finish. You can't use those. So you'll have to use the field called start one. So start one and finish one. Sorry, put that in there for us. Now, be, you have to be careful again with this because these fields get used when you're saving, um, ba not baselines, but saving, um, I'll just show you, wait a minute, just come out of that. If I go to project and set baseline. So interim plans use these start and finish fields. So if you've been using this, you can't do what I'm not about to show you. So these are quite old now. Most people just save baselines and use these. Um, but just be careful because if there's information in these fields, you're going to overwrite that information. So I'll just cancel that off, come back into this. So that was the first one down the bottom there. And then I'm going to repeat that for the second one. So we'll still call it process, call it process one. I'll do the same little diagram. Arrow going right, color red, color, um, green and red and shape point right I'll click OK to that and I don't I'll do set this first sorry normal and then now you need to select start two start two and finish two so it's going to give you a, a separate set of data click OK to that now at the moment there's nothing there because we haven't actually done anything. We need to insert those columns. So insert column, right click at the top, insert column, type S to get to the S's. You want to start one and then you want finish one, insert column, type F, finish one. And then you want start two, insert column, S, start two and insert column finish two and then you now populate with the dates so I said the 23rd and the 24th for the first one and then you get your little symbol and then the week after that would be the 30th and the 1st of May and you get your little symbol after that now this table you can save this table um, so you can quickly access it at a later date and to do that, you go view tables, save this table as a new table, and I'll call it process. Okay, 
Then because I've messed up the entry table, I'll just get rid of these four fields, these four columns. Just delete those off. And then in the tables list, you have process, entry. Sorry, I've done that wrong. Get rid of that. I've probably killed this off now for process. I have, so I'll just have to add those back again. So insert, start one, insert, finish one, and insert, start two, and insert, finish two. Like so. So that is the process table. Yep. So if I click on entry, entry's back to normal. Process is sitting up there and you can quickly click into it. So there's entry and then you've got process. Um, so you need process to actually populate. If you've got other similar sort of tasks coming down there, you would need the process table on so you could fill in the relevant dates. And if you need more repeating tasks like that on the same line, you would have to create additional lines down here. And then you would need to insert the columns um, if you wanted more repeats. But for the additional ones, if I, um, let's try putting a process one there. Just leave it on one day. You just start populating this in the same way. Um, 23rd. 24th and there you go now when you when you save a table so if I go back to more tables if you look at the organizer you can see your table is there but it's also in the global template so in theory if I close this down come out of this cancel this do control N for new go to tables there's my process table so it's still there. And if I show you in the more tables organizer, and then you can see processes in the global template. So if you didn't want that, you would have to make sure you're not on it. Otherwise it won't let you delete it, but you can just delete it and get rid of it through the this organizer box. So that was um, how to create repeating um, tasks on the same line. Hope you enjoyed this session and I'll see you soon.